I want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports, and tonight we're going to see Stephen A. Smith finally giving Max Kellerman the boot off of first take. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video if you'd like to make a donation. Go to Cash App Black Side 7 or go in the description box and hit PayPal. Stephen A. Smith has finally given Max Kellerman the boot. Stephen A. Smith wanted someone on his show that was more competition when it came to debates. Max Kellerman will be moving on to the morning show with Keyshawn Johnson and Jay Williams, and he possibly will have an afternoon show at 2 p.m. Max Kellerman is better known as a boxing analyst. You know he had Max on Boxing on ESPN, in which he loves boxing. That's been his staple ever since he was on cable access in New York. But Stephen A. Smith is exerting his power over at ESPN, over at Disney. We saw him the other night filling for Jimmy Kimmel. And Stephen A. Smith wants to be much bigger, possibly wanting a late night show. He brings, he will probably bring in someone like a Michael Irvin or some other people he feels that who will give him that extra touch, that extra flame when it comes to first take and bring those ratings up to where they were when Skip Bayless was there at ESPN. M Stephen A. Smith is a man who works extremely hard. We know he signed a five-year, $12 million a year contract. ESPN has given him what he wants for the simple fact he's probably the only one keeping ESPN alive right now. You know that the ratings are down at ESPN because of all the woke people over at ESPN. And we have seen so many changes over at ESPN. At one time, ESPN was a stable, a stable channel, which I mean, they had extremely high ratings every year. But when they took that turn to wokeism, you saw the channel take a huge step back. And but one person they could count on over at ESPN was Stephen A. Smith bringing in some kind of ratings. This is why you see Stephen A. Smith everywhere. You see him NBA traveling to different cities because he's the only person that probably has a high Q rating at ESPN. So the more they put him on the air, the better the ratings are. And Stephen A. just wanted someone at first take that will give him the challenge that he needs to get that show right back with Skip. Him and Skip had tremendous chemistry. You knew every day when that show came on, they had a huge audience. For the simple fact is that they actually <coughs> liked each other as friends. Because Stephen A. Smith gives Skip Bayless the credit for his career. He came on the show. You remember Skip used to be on Cold Pizza? They needed someone to fill in. He found Stephen A. Smith, gave him that opportunity that he can make $12 million a year. And Stephen A. has always been indebted to Skip Bayless as a friend. But could you imagine them back at ESPN when that contract, man, that show would have been huge. But Fox Sports 1 came in with the cash and kept Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless apart. So we'll see what happens because Stephen A. Smith Horizons is larger. He wants a late night show. He wants a prime. He wants something that's bigger than just ESPN. And the way he's moving right now, Disney will possibly give him that opportunity. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. 
I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and share this video.